Is there a reason why Cinderella just didn't finish them off? Because you're trying to tell me I got to clean that house? Cinderella, Cinderella, I put poison in your belly. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode. We are doing DSM back-to-back -back episodes for you guys. We are doing CNGS, Cinderella, Nice Girl Syndrome. Now, you're, you're sitting here wondering why did I use Cinderella as an example? I just don't understand. You're going to tell me how I got to clean this whole place. I would have collected the insurance. I would have lived as a queen, but that's just me. Um, so we're going to go into the effects of CNGS. This is an attractive person who is punished for her hubris. And the effects is letting everyone step on them for a sen false sense of morality. Now, I know people are sitting here saying hubris. We use an, we use an English comp one-on-one. -on -one. Basically, hubris is basically your ego. Um Excuse me. A lot of these, a lot of these celebrities have hubris, and usually they are humbled in some way or the other. But when you're a nice girl, you're kind of like a like when you're an attractive woman, you're kind of like low key like a celebrity yourself. So there's already a bad there's already a bad uh, name out there for being attractive. Like um, women being attractive, there's already a bad name out there for it. So I feel like let's talk about the side effects. So. Um, Social IQ is high. I would, social IQ, I would say social score, basically having pretty privilege increases your social score. So Marilyn Monroe said it best herself. Isn't a beautiful woman like being a very rich man? I can't do her voice. Her voice is like iconic, but she is correct because I, in a social setting, I have the, before y'all sit there and start talking trash, I'm just letting you know what I've experienced. I have the same status as a rich man in any social setting. I do. I do. I really do. I've seen it before. I've seen, I've seen that I've seen me get the same respect as a rich man would. Like I didn't believe it until I blossomed. Cause I was like, this is fake. Pretty privilege is not real. What are you talking about? But I have the same social status as an attractive man. Okay. I mean, not attractive man. I have the same social, so I have the same social status as a man with money as a woman. Okay. And then, um, it's easy for you to be taken advantage of when you're this attractive and you don't have any guard up. So my perfect example that I would say, and I, I don't like using this because I want her to rest in paradise as she should, is um, Shanquella Robinson. I don't know if you guys remember from the story from about a couple of years back, basically stunning, beautiful woman. Like my heart is still... Oh, my heart is still beating for her. Like I still, like I still, I still, I still cry about it mentally because basically what happened was, um, you know, she's a business owner, you know, she was coming up in her thing and like she invited some friends, you know, ended up being faux and she ended up going to, I believe it was Mexico or whatever. And, um, basically allegedly, um, they were responsible for her delifing and it's still unsolved to this day. And, this is one of the reasons why I say this This is very important is because of the fact that I know in her heart of hearts, she had such a, she had such a positive, there's a positive view of everybody. And like, unfortunately, you have to be a little bit skeptical when it comes to humans in general. Like one thing I've learned just from seeing so many different um, scenarios take place, um, you can't put anything past anyone. Like that's not to sit there and say you should walk around like, oh, I can't trust you, mailman. Like I'm not saying that, but seriously, like you cannot put nothing past anyone. And I feel like when that bad rep of being attractive, like because people really people equivalent being attractive to being rich. So you know how some rich people or some celebrities will have this thing where they try to be, you know, try to um, see like they're down to earth. You know, me personally, like. I feel like this is one of the cases where, you know, rest in paradise, but I do feel like she should have taken the celebrity route and been like, okay, well, you know, let me take a trip with people who have something to lose. Let me take a trip with my equals compared to let me take a trip with my friends, you know, and um, it's such a sad story and do not look it up because it's still unsolved and it'll make you mad. Like it's made me mad, still making me mad. 
um, years later, but I do want you guys to understand that like it can be very detrimental if you do have CNGS. And um, I feel like I feel like as well with CNGS, like you guys can think of different examples, but I can say from my personal story and let me see if I have time to share. Okay. Yes, I do. Um, I can say from my personal story, um, as someone who blossomed later in life and, you know, puberty took her precious time giving me the face I want. Okay. I didn't mean to yell, put the volume back down, but I can speak from my own aspect. Um, it's so hard because you grow up just having this innocent view of the world, this innocent view of everyone. And I, I used to sit there and like, I used to sit there and really think like, there is no way they're doing that to me. <laughs> you know, like, it's not, it's not that like, I'm thinking I'm better than them. It's just that, like, I would never, I would like some, I'm telling you, I, this is why I say, um, this is why I say, listen to me when I tell you the amount of things, the amount of the, the vast amount of people who have treated me incorrectly, you can see the pain in my eyes, the vast amount of people who have treated me incorrectly throughout my life because of how I look like, you couldn't fathom it. You couldn't fathom it. There's not a number, there's not a time frame. But I noticed like once I turned about 25, 27 and my features started figuring out because there they was they was playing jambalaya in there. They was playing jambalaya, but the vast amount, like just just horrible. Like I'm telling you, like I would like I've been treated like I'm nothing. Like I don't matter. I don't mean like I don't matter. I shouldn't have been born. Like I've been treated like nothing. So when I sit there and I tell you that I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little rule book on how to um on how to fix this, but the vast amount and I would give examples, but I don't like crying on camera because that's lame. <laughs> so it's not, I mean, it's not lame, but like, it's like, I don't want to cry on camera and then like not edit it. I'm an editor. I'm, I would just edit it out. But um, I can say that you can't control your genetics. And I think one of the most frustrating parts about it is the fact that when you're attractive, you get a bad rep already. So if you come in and you actually fight back and actually like say stuff back like people are not going to take people are going to be like found it like you ever notice that excuse me with these celebrities you ever notice that the moment they do something wrong this thing is plastered everywhere this thing is plastered everywhere um everybody knows what happens it's in 4k you know like it's in 4k everybody knows what happens and everybody know what happened it's in 4k everybody keeps re revealing it and reposting it to you so you can remember your mistake you made because i promise you there is a checklist in everybody's head against people who they deem as more attractive than them and they're just like okay i can't wait for them to mess up on this and then when you don't mess on that and you jump over that hurdle okay i can't wait for them to mess up on this and da, da, da. so when something happens where they have a misstep or they're um there's a chink in the armor they love to see it and i would say it's it's just hard because it's like you know you you know you can say stuff back but you can't because it's always gonna look bad like perfect example like with me being a content creator this is my fourth year i can't believe it's been four years um but with me being a content creator um there's been plenty of times where i've i've had stuff said to me and I'm telling you, I wanted to pull the, I, I wanted to burn everything down to the ground. Now it's getting into the Zodiac, but I'm a Leo, but I want to burn everything down to the ground because you go to low, I will bring you to hell. Okay. And I'm working on that. God is working through me, but I, it hurts because it's just like, you're pretty much, you pretty much just got to take it on the chin because people do feel like with you being attractive, like, it's just like, okay, you're attractive. I can do whatever I want to because you, you're already winning. Why not? Like to them in their mind, it's like, okay, well, you're already winning. Why not be mean to this person? You're already winning. Why not do A, B, and C to this person? You know? So I don't know. I feel like there is this, there's just this vitriol and just, 
vitriol and just anger towards women who are attractive and it gets silenced because all of the loud pros of being attractive gets there you know like i'm not dumb like i know i did not get a million views on this page because y'all love hearing me talk like i know that's part of it but my me looking how i do i know that plays into that, that aspect as well you know and I don't know. I just wanted to just share, you know, I realized I didn't share anything, but I just want to share like from my personal experience, not to get into detail that it is very much a real emotion. So we're going to say, how can you combat this? Number one, you have to be firm to combat having CNGS. You have to be firm. You have to be confrontational. Now, I know, <laughs> I know y'all gonna be like, oh, okay, I can be confrontational. I was like, no, 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 no. You know how to battle. That's not what I'm asking you. You need to be confrontational because one thing I've learned about being attractive is that people count on you not fighting back. They count on it. They count on it because it's just like, okay, well, if I fight it, if I, if I do A, B, and C to this attractive person and they fight back, now they lose some of their beauty, parentheses, because now they're not nice, okay? So... I would say you have to be firm. So perfect example. This is this is just a scenario. Let's play. Let's do a little role play. And um, someone comes up to you and you're really dressed up and they're just like, oh, well, you think you're cute or whatever. Your response can be either to ignore. OK, you can ignore them or you can be like, well, I'm so glad you took notice of that. OK, just something. And I know, and I know it took, hey, as someone who's a recovering anger management, I can tell you it took me a lot of time to get it because usually I'd be like, yo, man, see it. Um, but like it took me it took me a lot. It took me a lot to get there. But um, I can definitely say that. Think about the repercussions of it. Is this one comment worth your reputation? OK. I feel like I should, it's like so many celebrities, I want to say that to them. Is this one comment worth your reputation? Okay. Um, and then vice versa, let's say it's, let's say it's another aspect too. Let's say it comes to favor. So let's say somebody asks you, Hey, Hey girl, um, I need you to do like A, B and C favorites. And you know, you're busy. You don't have time. You have to be confrontational and firm. Like, Hey, I actually have a lot of stuff going on today. I won't be able to help you, blah, blah. And they're just like, oh, well, you can't help me. I was like, no, I can't. I have ABC. It's already been, you know, blah, blah, blah. You have to be confrontational. Because if you say, okay, I'll do it. Yeah, no matter. Yeah, let's do it. Like, they're going to take that as like, okay, good. I can start ask. I can come out of my neck and ask this person for a favor whenever I feel like it. Whenever I feel like it. Whenever, whenever I feel like it. Whenever, um, whenever I feel like I know they're busy or they're up to something. Like I've had people, you know, of course we're not friends anymore, but I've had people ask me to do favors on my birthday. My birthday is annual. Last time I checked for the last 33 years, my birthday has been very annual. And um, to sit there and see, um, to sit there and see people ask me to do things on my birthday, you would be surprised if that's my people do that, but we are either no longer friends or I do not respond back to anything on my birthday until the day after. But that's me being firm. And you have to be confrontational because one thing I've learned about people who um, B U L L Y is the fact that they're going to keep doing it until there's something that deters them from doing it. So if they know you're confrontational, they're going to stop doing that. Um, I have another one on here. You need to realize that you're fine. Okay. Because some of y'all women out there, you know I me, mean? I'm the aggressive, I'm the aggressive, I'm the aggressive complimenter. Cause I, I had like a, I had like a friend and like this girl is breath taking like i can't breathe stunning and she's just and i was like oh my god girl you look so good today and she wasn't able to take that compliment i was like i know why you're not able to take that compliment because you've had people probably people who built like an robber faction chat to come up to you and say you're not attractive come up to you and say oh you think you're all that so it's kind of like mm -hmm, i don't really feel good and then like me personally too like i had an issue with compliments as well because for some reason People feel like, I feel like compliments are a gateway to telling you what to do because it goes from, oh my God, you look so good today. Like you're like really pretty, you know? And then later on, then they start doing that as, okay, well, girl, you're not looking too good today. They use it as kind of like, a, okay, well, since I'm in here now, it's time. Now I can start saying how I really feel about this person. So I do feel like there is that, you know, that plus or minus there, you know, um, and I feel like I, I get that, but you need to realize you're fine because most of the time, whenever I see a, a nice girl getting picked on, um, she don't realize how fine she is. And this is not, this is not, this is not the advice I would say you need to take, 
but the way I do it is that sometimes you have to remind people who aren't as conventionally attractive of why they're picking on you. Does that make any sense? So if you one day come up to, if someone comes up to you and they're just like, oh, girl, you're not that cute. And then you dress it up the next day. You got to kind of remind them. Okay. So that's another way for you to unbattle them as well. Um, final, final point, have your guard up. Now me, you know, I'm very open as I was, I'm very friendly, but I'm not open. Like you could sit there and be friends with me for years and you don't even know things. Okay. But it's not that I don't like people. Like, why would I start a whole channel? Why would I start a whole channel? Like, it's not, I don't like people. It's the fact that you have to have your guard up when you're attractive because it's going to be so easy for people to be like, okay, well, they have to be nice to me or their attractive levels are going to go away, you know, but um, you really need to have that mindset of having your guard up. Like, I like, I still like, I still pray for her family, but like with um, Shunquela, like I just, I just pray. Her, I just wish she would have just had her guard up with these people and just realized why would like you know like this is not to victim or anything but like my heart does like breach so hard for that because like this is somebody's daughter my sister somebody's auntie like this is somebody I don't know about auntie she's a little young but I'm just saying like this is somebody who's like this is a family member and these people like you gotta understand like humans like I said like I know you know no one everybody falls short and everybody falls short of God but some of these humans do not deserve an open heart. So my final advice with, with CNGS would be to just guard your heart and just make sure you are firm in your beliefs. And don't forget to subscribe, share. It's clear here. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Seven.